Hey guys, Peyton Snee back here again for another video for you guys today. Um, in this video, I'm gonna um, show you guys my entire, um, or not my, it's every movie that I have that's out of print, um, rare and out of print movies. Like, um, I don't have many, so, because they're out of print and rare. So, um, I have only like 10 here, so yeah. Okay, so let's get started. Now this first one I have, I don't even know if it's, I don't know if he can say it's out of print. I, I guess I can because I can never find it anywhere, um, which was Urban Legend on Blu-ray. Just the Blu-ray. I mean, the DVD I'm pretty sure you could find, but it's the Blu-ray, I think. Because I tried going to Movie Stop a couple times. They never had it. Tried to go to FYE. They never had it. And um, Amazon. I tried doing Amazon. Um, they were all, always sold out of it. Um, the only thing they wanted to sell was... Um, the UK um, Blu-ray release, but I didn't, but I thought they had to have a certain player, like the region free player for it, um, which I don't know, I don't know if he did, but pretty sure he did, but, um, and uh, finally I found it for like $11, and I'm like, okay, I don't spend that much on Amazon, but I really want it so bad, so I'm gonna get it, um, so I, I got it, obviously, because it's in my hand. Um, but if, basically, this is about um, a slasher film about um, a group of these like um, college students. Um, they're getting murdered one by one, um, based on, by a guy in an axe. Based, and it's they're he's killing people basically based on urban legends. Um, it's a, it's a really good slasher film. I think this is probably one of my favorite um, horror films on Blu-ray that I have. Because it's, I guess you could say out of print. Because I think it is, because it's so hard to find. And, um, yeah. But, so if you find it, get it, because it was like, it's always expensive to, um, to, um, get on Blu-ray. Uh, but, by the way, in, in the end of this video, I'm going to tell you guys some of the other ones that I don't have, that I'm trying to find, that are out of print. So, um. Yeah. So, um, the next one I have is, um, Wrong Turn 6 here on, on Blu-ray. Um, I, now I know this was out of print. Um, I, I don't know if it still is or not, because, like, the DVD version, the DVD, um, is in, was in Walmart for, like, three bucks. I don't know about the Blu-ray, but this was out of print. Um, and, um, now basically, um, this is, this one is, like, is basically about, um, you know, um, they go to this, like, weird spa. A group of these friends go to this, like, weird spa, and, you know, um, I think the owners, um, they have their boys, the cannibals, they ha have them kill people one by one, making them eat them, and, you know. But, um, this was out of print because I think it was, like, a rumor, something about, like, um, it was a, they, they filmed this in Ireland, right? Um, so, um, something about that, um, they used a, um, a real body part, um, or, um, a real, um, human body, a dead one, for a, a mannequin, like a mannequin for, like, one of the death scenes instead of using a mannequin. So, yeah, that's the rumor I'm hearing, so, I don't know if it's true, because apparently if it was still true, um, then they wouldn't have it in Walmart for three bucks unless they snuck it in somehow but um but i found that um at um movie stop I, it was expensive but i really wanted to see it because it was out of print 17 dollars. so all right next one is um the ugly on dvd now this isn't out of print i heard um this was a a walmart exclusive um I can't really remember what happened in this one, but I think it, it was a British movie about um, this killer, um, serial killer, um, being interviewed. I think he's basically talking about um, all the murders that he did and stuff. It was something like that. I can't remember. It's been a long time, but this is an out-of-print one. Okay. Um, next one here that I have. Now, I heard these were out-of-print. Some of these came out the Blu-ray, but it's this eight-pack here. Um, but it, alright, the ones that are, that are not out of print is, um, 
Waxwork, that came out the Blu-ray. Um, Chopping Mall, which came out the Blu-ray. Slaughter High does not come out the Blu-ray, but I love that movie. And um, Class of 1999, um, which is not on Blu-ray. So those are not out of print, but the ones that are out of print is um, 976 Evil 2, came out the Blu-ray. Ghoulies 3, Ghoulies Go to College, that came, that did not go out, that did not come out the Blu-ray. Chud 2, I think that came out the Blu-ray. No wait, 976 Evil 2, I don't think that came out the Blu-ray yet. Um, I'm thinking of Chud 2, Chud 2 came out the Blu-ray, not 976 Evil 2, okay. And The Unholy, which I think is coming out the Blu-ray. Okay, um, but yeah, I hadn't even seen this pack in a while. I think the, the only reason I got this was for, um, Chopping Mall, which Chopping Mall was about, um, it was about, like, robots or something. I can't remember what happened, it's been a long time. But yeah, so I got this. It, I don't think, it's not the set, I don't think that was out of print. It's just some of the movies that were out of print. Now, this next one, I don't even know if this is out of print or what, but I, 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 I know one of my neighbors was trying to find this, and she had a hard time finding it. But unfortunately, I found it before she did. But, um... And plus, I, I had a hard time finding it, too, um, which was um, Funland on um, DVD. This movie ain't really great or anything. It's from the, um, the director of um, Sleepaway Camp sequel, Sleepaway Camp 2 and 3. Um, what's his name again? Uh, Michael A. Simpson? Doesn't say. That doesn't say. Um, but um, but it was it was about this clown who um, basically um loses his job at, at this carnival and he goes on this like craziest like killing spree. I mean, it's not great or anything, but I mean, it's cool having because the cover is kind of cool though. Yeah. Now this next one, I mean, and again, not these movies. Three of the movies came out the Blu-ray. It's just one of one of them was like a burn on demand, which was this set right here. Um, no, it's the the Bates Motel one TV movie. That one was kind of like a rare one. Um, it was um, can't really remember what it was about, but I remember it wasn't really great or anything. It wasn't. It kind. It was kind of like I guess you could say like a sequel to the fourth one. Um, but it was made after they did the third one, though. After they did Psycho 3. But I think of it as, like, a sequel to, like, Part 4. Because, um, Bates Motel, was, that one was, like, about this guy. I think he was friends with Norman Norman Bates. Um, and he gets released from the crazy house. And, um, I think, I think he says something about the Norman Bates ends up giving him, like, um, the... Um, lets him owning the, um, the, the Bates Motel house, and, you know, Bates, Norman's not in this, because they say in here that he dies, um, and he's, like, cremated or something, but, I don't know, it's not really a good TV movie, but it's very good to have, just, you know, because it was kind of, like, that rare, you know? Sorry about that, um, there was something in here I, I kind of forgot, I, well, I, this next one, I mean, I did kind of forget on purpose because I didn't know what if I should talk about it or what. Because I don't, because I don't know if you you can consider this like a um out of print one. Because I mean, it kind of was because it was like a burn on demand thing. But um, this was like a Walmart exclusive, so um, I guess I'll just tell you, tell you about it just to let you know it was out of print, but now you can get it. So, but it was the the Incredible Shrinking Woman, which you know about um Lil Lily Tomlin um she ends up um shrinking and um she ends up getting famous for it because um her husband ends up making like some kind of like inventing some kind of like spray thing or something i can't remember what it kind of was but ends up getting on her and i think it ends up going wrong because she ends up getting shrinking and shrinking it's so, like this size right there and they're basically trying to find an antidote before it's too late and it's a pretty good movie you know it was out of print but it, now it's um it's a Walmart exclusive. As far as I know, I don't I don't know if it, it is anymore, but yeah. Now these next ones, of course, I talk about these a lot. And um they did in fact um 
made a burn on demand thing like last year, which was, um, and it's weird that I have these kind of cases like that. It was my first time burning movies, which was the Trilogy of Terror 2 thing. Like, you know, of course, this is probably one of my favorite, um, anthology horror films of all, which part one's the one about, um, the rats. The second one was the one about that, um, the mother, I'm um, bringing back her son from the dead. Third one was about, um, of course, the doll, which one, which I thought was well done sequel to update to the, um, the first one. Yeah. I talk about them a lot, so. Those were the V, because it never came out to DVD. So, um, they did a burn on demand thing. Alright, so the rest of these are, like, ones I burned, so, because they never came out to DVD. Um, but, but you can just get Trilogy of Terror for, like, 20 bucks on Amazon. Next one, I know this is very, very rare, um, which is Scream for Help, um, and this one had never got a burn on demand release, as far as I know, it never did, so, um, but this is one, a good one about a, um, a girl who, um, teenage girl, um, she's got suspicions about her new stepfather, and, um, because she's saying, she's suspecting that he's a liar, a piece of crap, and he's basically trying to kill, um, her mother, and, you know, and she's trying to tell her mother to be careful about, about him because he's bad news, and, you know, she won't believe him, and, you know, she's trying to, and she's basically trying to get proof that he's a no-good piece of crap. So, yeah, but very good movie. But yeah, this is another one I burned. I know some of these I did not make cases for them yet. I mean, I've been meaning to, like, to print, like, a cover for them, but I just hadn't had the chance yet. Next one, of course, is, um, this one I know is very rare. Um, it's kind of weird because, and it's, it is pretty weird that, like, the, like, the first two had releases, but they never did for the third one. I mean, this is, like, this one, again, had a burn on demand thing. Stepfather 3. I haven't even seen the second one. I mean, because I really just wanted to get this burned onto this. So, because, you know, I know how rare it really was. Um, the, uh, um, the Stepfather 3, which is one about the stepfather, um, getting plastic surgery to, um, disguise himself. Um, because, you know, he's been, I think he escaped from the nut house or something, but can't really remember. Some of these I can't even really remember what happened, but yeah. Um, all right, and the last one I have here, I know this is very rare. I know the, the VHS is out of print, I know, because of the actress, um, Farrah Fawcett, that died. Um, so if you find this anywhere, get it. I know it's very expensive on Amazon, um, It's because it's worth a lot. So I made my own copy, which was Small Sacrifices. Um, it's a true story about Diane Downs, which if you don't know who that is, she was someone who, um, she, um, tried to kill her, um, three kids. Um, one of the kids has, ends up dying. The other two survive. Um, and, you know, and she, she's going around saying that a black guy tried, tried to kill, um, her kids. And, um, and, you know, um, kids are really scared of her because, obviously, because of what she did. And, you know, but, yeah, but... This is a very, very rare one. If you find the VHS of it again, get it. It's out of print. I don't even think it came out the DVD. I know I did. I think I just said that I, there was a DVD of it, but there isn't, I don't think. I, I think maybe there is in, like, the UK, but I don't know if it's a region three, but, um, but yeah, but this is very rare. Find it if you, if you, or get it if you see it, so... But yeah, <clears throat> so that is it for all the out-of-print ones I have. I know sooner or later there's going to be, like, a little... I'm going to probably get more, there's no doubt in my mind. But um, if I do get a lot more, I, I can re-update this video again, maybe one day. Um, anyway, here's some other ones I like to talk about that are out-of-print um, that I, I'm trying to find. Let me... Um, sorry about that again. Um, I had, like, a list of, um, the movies, um, the other movies that were out of print that I wanted to get, but I couldn't find it, so I'll just tell you ones I can remember, so, um, that were on the list, like, um, 
Okay, I know the Night of the Living Dead remake on Blu-ray was out of print that I want to get. I'm not going to talk about them. I'm just going to tell you guys what they were. Okay, um, Black Christmas um, remake. Um, the Can Canadian Blu-ray. Um, what else? Um, that's, I think that's all the Blu-rays I could think of. I'll start now. I'm gonna do the DVDs. Um, Clown House on DVD. Um, Good Burger on DVD. I'm trying to think. I think that was it. Um, that, that's basically it. That's all I could think of. Huh? And here is one that I do really think is oh, um, Dawn of the Dead um, original on Blu-ray out of print. Now here's one I know is out of print. I'm thinking of those because it's hard to find and they want a lot of money for it on Amazon. Um, and especially eBay. Um, the My Bloody Valentine, um, the original on Blu-ray. They, they want it for like a lot of money. So um, I don't want to talk about it. But anyway, um, that's basically all, all the movies I could think of that are out of print that I want. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.